awesome. Can you feel something? Look for five people and tell them you came to escort me tonight. Tell five people. stand before your people on this anointed pulpit who am I that you have chosen me to use me to answer someone's prayers I kneel before you in humility and return the glory to you in advance let there be open heavens unto your servant and unto your people. Let every prayer that shall be prayed here tonight be answered by fire. Everyone that came here weeping, let him go back dancing and celebrating. Lord, may your servant speak only the counsel of Jehovah. Honor the set man of this house and his wife. Honor the leaders of this church tonight. Honor this great commission tonight. Baptize me with fresh fire. And everyone that shall shout amen, let them receive miracle and deliverance. Let them receive miracle and deliverance. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. Somebody jump up and shout a big amen. The highest jump, the highest jump, and the loudest clap will receive the highest jump. Look at it, look at it, look, look at it. There. The highest, look at it, look at it there, look at, look at it there. Somebody shout fire. Let me celebrate God's servant with his wife, please. Thank you for the invitation. This is one of the strongest voices in Africa. Strongest voices in a Kwaibum state. You may not know how many lives have been impacted. Awesome man of God. Full of integrity. Full of grace. Full of humility. Security. Prosperity. Dexterity. Ingenuity. Sit like a king and a queen. Sit and let your neighbor look like your driver. Cross your legs. Put your hands akimbo. Look at your driver. Tell him, where did you park the limousine? Make some noise in the house of God. Those of you that are too quiet, let me tell you. Tonight, angels will be writing down the names of all the noisemakers.
to go use your elbow quack your neighbor say pack your loads pack your loads and get ready to move and get ready to enter another dimension get ready to move into your new house get ready to move into your new level pack your loads and be Give it, give it, give it. Matthew 9, verse 9. Are we ready? Participate. Are you ready? Let's read. One to go. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom, and he said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. All the honors of Twitter. This is where they copy. Follow me. Follow me. This is where they copy. All what you see, people copy from the Bible. I came to announce to you, please personalize tonight, that something has happened. And you will pack your loads and you will pack your baggage and enter another level. After tonight, you can never be the same place again. You can never remain the same place. God is bringing you out of darkness into light out of poverty into prosperity out of sickness into divine health out of sorrow into joy out of zero into hero shot fire sit down Jesus came Kambo Shakanda my God I'm already seeing some Jesus ah Lord let me preach I want to preach ah, yeah. Jesus no please he made a young man sitting tired of his profession a custom officer thinking of resignation do you know that God will always meet you at your zero hour this meeting is organized for somebody who has come to a zero hour of his life finances and marriage and ministry the devil is a liar there is coming a mighty hand of Jehovah God that will lift you out from where you have found yourself to where you are supposed to be. If your amen is loud, receive it right now. Somebody say, oh Lord my God, lift me from where I am to where I'm supposed to be. You will see it. This conference will not end. You shall hear good news. Promotion is coming to you. Elevation is coming to you. In the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 37 verse 1. See that. Ezekiel 37 verse 1. I love it. It says the hand of the Lord was upon me and did what and carried me this is where the people that sing the song carry me they go that, 
I've told you everything they copy from Bible. Carry me, they go. 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 Shout amen. amen. Wait, wait, wait. I did not say lift your hand. You have been lifting hands since you were born again. I said lift your legs and shout amen. amen. Sit, sit. Sit. Have you not been lifting hands? If you have holy hands, what makes your leg not to be holy? Angels are writing the names of noisemakers. Do you know? Do you know that? Some people have made the noise. Their name is number one. Somebody shout fire. Genesis chapter 40 verse 14. 4014. Genesis chapter 40, verse 14. But think on me. Joseph is talking to the chief butler. Think on me when it shall be well with thee and show kindness, I pray thee, unto me. Watch this. And make mention of me unto Pharaoh. Watch this. And bring me out of this place tonight there are 64 people who are crying in their hearts they have been fasting and praying and they are saying oh lord my god in this night of miracle and deliverance bring me out of this place bring me out of poverty bring me out of shame bring me out sit down there are people like that in their hearts they are weeping oh lord god joseph begged that man he pleaded with him say please please bring me out of this place there are some of you even where you live now you are praying bring me out of this place there are some of you there's a situation you have found yourself you are asking God please Lord bring me out of this place bring me out of darkness bring me out of poverty there are some people now they have somebody in the hospital you are praying God bring my mother out of that hospital there is somebody here your children are somewhere stopped up and you are asking God on their behalf bring them out of this place but you know what God did it one day God did it one day Genesis, the same Genesis 41 14 4 1 1 4 41 14 the Bible says something Genesis 4 1 1 4 give it to us quickly Genesis 41 verse 14 what is this computer man? I'll go back to my Bible. Genesis 41 verse 14. You can't get it? The Bible says, they brought him out hastily from the prison. 
they shaved him they changed his garment tonight can I prophesy to you a hand greater than your enemy's hand is about to raise you up and bring you out of prison and bring you out of shame let your amen be the loudest amen in the house Joshua chapter 3 verse 5 Joshua chapter 3 verse number 5 and Joshua said unto the people sanctify the word sanctify means prepare yourself in other words get ready in other words pack your loads those of you who are here you are not yet married go and start to iron your dress and keep your wedding is coming by fire and by force in the name of the Lord God of Israel those of you that have not delivered children God says the Lord go and buy napkin buy baby diapers because your baby is coming on the way right now that Jesus that lifted Matthew in the frustration of his profession at the junction of his commission is here the same yesterday same today same forever if he rescued Matthew he will rescue you tonight if he delivered somebody before he shall deliver you tonight somebody raise your hand and say oh Lord my God raise me out bring me out of this place shout the biggest amen sit down I remember a young man called Mephibosheth I know you know his story 2nd Samuel chapter 9 verse 1 to 3 2nd Samuel chapter 9 verse number 1 to 3 David said, is there anybody in the family of Saul that I can show him the kindness of God? For the sake of who? Jonathan, my friend. There was a covenant that was made on the behalf of Mephibosheth. But ignorance is what makes us bound. Devil does not want to know want you to know what God has in store for you. Devil does not want you to understand your rights and privileges because it is through lack of knowledge that he holds us in bondage. And the Bible said there was one Ziba and they sent to him for him. And he said no, he is in where? Lodeba. He is in the remote village suffering because of his condition. You know, Mephibosheth was crippled and that made him to think low of himself. There are some of you here, because of who you are today, you do not want to know what God has made you to be. You are discouraged. He found himself in Lodeba, abandoned to faith, subject to torment, under servitude. But one day, King David sent a convoy to bring him out to bring him out I want you to I want you to imagine the day that the king's chariots and wagons drove to Lodeba you know a village I can see all the children line up I can see everybody line up whom are the king's chamberlains whom are the king's emissaries looking for they thought he's looking for the, the village head of Lodeba. He said, no, no, no. We are not coming for the village head. We are coming for a crippled young man. A young man that the whole village have been despising. They have 
looked down on him for years. I can almost believe that he had no friend. Because of the way he looked, nobody wants to identify. Nobody wants to look at his history. There are some of you here, people have been despising you. They look at you, they think that you will not be anything. But we come in the name of the God of Mephibosheth. That same God is about to send a message to you. After your amen, check your email. After your amen, check your text message. After your amen, check your letterbox. After your amen, a good news is about to come to you. God will bring you out of Lodebar. chapter 19 verse 5 Jesus said to Zacchaeus Luke 19 verse 5 I'm coming to stay in your house and people began to protest how can this righteous Jesus go to stay with Zacchaeus Matthew 21 verse 2 and verse 10 the God that brings us out of darkness brought the donkey out from a village unto the city. I love verse 2. Matthew 21 verse 2. Go to the village. Go into the village. You will see a donkey. Give me verse 10. Give me verse 10. I said verse 2. The donkey is in the village. Give me verse 10. And when he was coming to Jerusalem with the donkey, the city was moved. Verse 2, donkey is in the village. Verse 10, Mr. Donkey is in the city. You can see the transformation. We serve a God whose mighty hand can catapult you. We serve a God whose anointing can skyrocket you. There is somebody here where they see you yesterday is not where they shall see you tomorrow. If your amen was the loudest, God shall visit you first. Verse 2, donkey is tied in the village. Verse 10, he's free. Not only free in the city, he's carrying the king of kings and the lord of lords and the lion of the tribe of Judah. And the Bible says, the crowd, they are shouting, who is this? Because the city was moved. Do you know there was a demon that held the prophecy of that donkey? It was prophesied in Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. You, you can give it to us. 600 years before this experience, Zechariah prophesied and said, Oh, you daughters of Zion, do what? Shout. Daughters of Jerusalem, do what? Behold, your king is doing what? Is coming and is having salvation, riding upon a donkey. So there was a prophecy that that donkey was going to carry Jesus. But the devil is a liar. When he knows that there's a prophecy over you, he tries to block you. That is why he tied the donkey. He was trying to stop the prophecy. What you are going through is not because you are bad or God hates you. It's because the prophecies concerning you, the devil is afraid. He knows that he knows that he knows that he cannot stop it. He tries to hinder it. If your amen is loud, your prophecies shall come to pass. It 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 shall come to pass. Lift your hands and say, Oh Lord, all the prophecies and the promises and the purposes of God concerning my life shall surely come to pass from tonight. No demon shall tie my prophecy. No power shall tie my destiny. I lose myself. Do your hand like this. I lose myself. I lose myself. 
I lose my children, my husband. Open your mouth and pray for one minute. I lose my finances. I lose no rope, no chain. I break loose. I move from the city to the town, from the city to the city. Holy Ghost, everyone that bind me, every power that hold me, loose, loose, loose. Jesus name sit like a king and a queen do you still have your driver by your side you have even forgotten who is your driver do you still have your driver is he on your right may you not sit by your pastor today <laughs> that's where you go on suspension don't mention my name <laughs> and may you not sit near your boss in the office and when they say talk to your driver you go and talk I didn't send you Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Isaiah 61 verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 61 verse 1 to 3. Arise. The spirit of the Lord God. Isaiah 60 not 61. From verse 1. 60 sorry about that. Arise. And do what? Shine. What has happened? Your light is come and what has happened again the spirit of the Lord God give me verse good for behold darkness shall do what cover the earth is it not happening and deep darkness the people but the Lord will do what and do what again? Any time a miracle wants to happen, the Bible uses the word arise. Arise. Give me, give me, give me a John, John 5, verse 8. Give me John 5, 8. Jesus said to the important man at the pool of Bethesda, rise. <laughs> Take up your bed. And what is our topic tonight? Pack your loads and get ready. That bed has been carrying that man for 38 years. Now, the man is going to carry what used to carry him. Angels will write the names of all the noise makers. <laughs> Angels write their names. Hallelujah! Rise and then shine. Your light has come. Then Jesus came and said, Rise. Take up your bed. Now, do you notice something? Do you notice that most miracles in the Bible, Jesus does not pray? Yesterday I gave you a bombshell. Today is another bombshell. Put on your seatbelt. Did you notice that? You act on his word. He does not pray. Read your Bible. Did, did Jesus pray for water to be turned to wine? Please read and challenge me. He said, fetch water. They fetch. He said, start drinking. Some of you would have said, Brother Silas, no. Read your Bible. Fetch water. They say we are finished. He said then, draw it out and give to the governor. No prayer. Check your Bible. 
He comes to a man who has sat at the pool 38 years. He didn't know say Rabu Kushanda. Hey, Kerazin. Ka. Yama, you know, you know. No. Suzuki, Toyota, computer, helicopter. He didn't say it. Do you know what Jesus said to a man that has been there for 38 years? Do you know what Jesus said? He said, um, Dawo, Takada. Am I not in a choir boom? Dakada. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> Take up your bed. Watch, no prayer. You know why? Prophecy or prophetic word is more powerful than prayer. Because you pray in the name, but you speak the word. And he exalt the world above the name. I'm not against prayer. Oh, 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 no. Okay, okay. Let me explain. I'm not against prayer. I'm a prayer person. Before I came here, I've been on my knees for hours. I won't tell you how many. Before I came out tonight, oh boy, oh boy, I love prayer. From campus days, oh brother, I love it. Till today, my wife knows. She comes to the room, she looks, she says, you know, go stand up to I love prayers. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not undermining prayer. If you do, you are not a true Christian. Prayer is powerful. But hear me, acting on the word supersedes prayer. Just like national assembly is above state house of assembly. Acting on the word national assembly. Prayer state house of assembly looking for me to lay hands on you and give you olive oil is is a local government parliament local government it, it's still a, it's still a government it's still a government mon councillor supervisory councillor supervisory councillor works all the urban law, local government council Whoever is the pastor of such a church, chairman of council. No, no, don't misunderstand me. I, I, I love it. I do, I love it. I love it. But pro prophetic word is higher than prayer. Because in the beginning was not prayer. In the beginning was the word. So, Iko, Iko Basi, Asong Akam. Okay, I'll give you an example. One day the centurion pleaded with the elders of Israel to bring Jesus to pray for his servant. When they succeeded in giving the appointment, he changed his mind. He said, I just remember that the word is higher than prayer. Don't come again now to come and pray. Now, speak the word. And my servant shall be healed. That is why as I'm speaking, chains are falling off people right now. As I'm speaking, burdens are lifted. As I'm speaking, yokes are destroyed. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Ghost. You know why the word is higher than prayer? I'll give you another evidence. Because prayer says, Oh Lord, prophetic word of prayer. God says, thus says the Lord. What does prayer say? What does prophetic word say? 
I'll give you another example. Prayer comes from the earth to heaven. Prophetic word comes from heaven to the earth. I, I, I live near, there's a church near my house in Calabar. Morning to night, prayer. Morning to night, I come. I love it. But I used to want to hear three minutes of exhortation or ten minutes of teaching. Nothing. I told my wife, no. Something is wrong. Any pastor or prophet or bishop that is performing miracles and does not know the word of God is magic. I'm not mentioning anybody's name. I'm just preaching. It's magic. Because the word of God is the raw material for the production of the miraculous. This is a light that lightened every man that has come into the world. And this light shines in darkness and darkness could not comprehend. That word comprehend in Greek is to katalambanu. Look at your neighbor. Say, you cannot katalambanu me. If you cannot pronounce it, you can add an and language inside. Tell your neighbor, you cannot katalambanu me. To katalambanu means to overcome, to overshadow, to subdue, to resist, to comprehend, and to resist. Katalambanu. Tonight, the loudest amen, the word of God is about to set you free. Receive your deliverance. 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 Somebody shout fire. Pack your loads. <laughs> Some of you are going to move to your own houses. From tenant to landlord. From applicant to general manager. From voter, you become a candidate. In the name of Jesus. Jesus said to the man at the pool, pack your loads. You know why Jesus told that man to carry his bed? Sit down, I'll tell you. Do you know why Jesus told him to carry the bed? Because at a level, your deliverance is psychological. At a certain level, is here. I'll give you an example. Get some chicken in the poultry. After some time, after you have sold all some chicken, maybe remaining three, open the poultry door and push away the remaining chicken. They will not come out. Pull down the poultry. They will stay there. Pull you your leg and tell them, I don't want to buy feed again. Go outside. They, they will. So Jesus told him to carry the bed to defeat the psychology of his deliverance. And that's what the black man needs to do. The black man is free, but he's still bound psychologically. The white man is not more superior than the black man, but we have problem on our psychology, our psychic. We believe we are inferior. We believe we are cheap. We, believe, we just believe we are bound. And that psychology, Jesus said, take your bed. You know why Jesus told that man, carry your bed? Even if he changed his mind, you cannot have bed to stay again. And that hospital, you know it was a hospital. You don't believe that place was hospital. The Bible says he has five words. Emergency, maternity, children. 
Had patience. Five words. So, and there was so much crowd. If the man carry his bed, another person will enter. So, if he believe he's not healed, he can't even go back there because no space to accommodate him again. So, Jesus was dealing psychologically with that. There are some of you here. Anything that is going to link you to your old ancestral covenant after your amen, we cancel that link right now. We cancel that link right now. Do you know? That's why Jesus, that's why when Moses crossed, take Old Testament also. When Moses crossed the Red Sea, I love this God. He's very intelligent. He said to Moses, let them go forward. Close the sea. Do you know why the Red Sea had to close again? The opening of Red Sea, there were two miracles people don't see. The opening of Red Sea was a miracle. The closing also. The same formula. He said, point the rod, open. After he said, point the rod and close. Do you know why God closed the Red Sea? Because those human beings, I don't trust them. As they are going, when they remember cucumber and pomegranate, even though, even though, they will want to go back. So, but now the problem is that when you are going back, how way do you pass? So their deliverance was done psychologically. He delivered them by opening the sea and when they cross because God knows our future he knows our weaknesses he closed it that's why all those they are grumbling where were the grapes where are the pork, cucumber if you notice they only talk with mouth nobody returned no check your Bible not one of them returned you know why the rod is with Moses every old sea that you have crossed to come to Christianity after your amen you shall not go back to your vomit you shall not go back to your old life you are totally delivered you are totally set free in the name of the Father in the name of the Son in the name of the Holy Ghost lift your hands up I feel something coming in here Say something for two minutes. Say something for two minutes. Say something. Say something. Say something. Please pray for one minute. Say something. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of set free. God said to Moses, Go and tell Pharaoh, Let my people go. Begin to pray and say, Lord, like Joseph prayed, Take me out of this place. Take me out of this condition. Take me out of sin. I am living in sin. Take me out. Of this secret habit that has held me bound for yesteryears. Oh, the 
hands are lifted up, Calvary, Calvary, Calvary. Burdens are lifted up, Calvary. Somebody come. I have a word for you. What are those special ushers tonight? Stand here. Lift your hands up. What are those my special ushers? Need two men and two women. Yes. Are you an usher? Put your hand behind him. You're on the line. You're on the line. Your two hands, close your eyes. Somebody stand behind them. Stretch your hand up. Close your eyes. Father, thank you. This one's about to work with me. But they need their own portion. Father, give them their portion now. Spirit of the living God, don't let them go back empty-handed. <laughs> Receive. Somebody clap for Jesus. What do you do right now? Where is that? I'm seeing some struggling. But as we're playing the drums for Jesus, I hear the Lord say, I have opened a door. Amen. No man can stop you again. Any rope that tie your prophecy in the village. We cut those ropes right now. Amen. Take it, take it, take it. Who is Samson? Samson, something. Who is Samson? Samson. Get to me quickly. Is that your first name or your surname? There's somebody. What, that Samson. Can you come quickly? There's somebody right when you sit down. It's like if the entire of your waist down to your back here is broken. In fact, to sit down is punishment. Can you come right here? I'm still waiting for the Samson. Is he here? Where is the person that have that? Are you the one? Which one are you coming? Lift your hands up. Healing is in the house. Somebody begin to wave your hand and receive that healing. Which one are you coming for? Which one? Lift your hands up. Healing in the house. Receive now. Receive now. Watch, watch, ushers, watch. Receive now. Receive, receive now. Take that healing. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, leave her down, leave her down gently. Take it. Leave him, leave him. What did you come for? What did you come for? Lift your hands up. Power is it's power. Take it. Take it. There's somebody, listen, there's somebody, all your monies are tied somewhere and you've been fasting and praying. They are on you. I, I can't mention the figure. It's a serious figure and has made you struggle and almost crumbling financially because of this terrible debt. They are on you. Can you step out? Because God is about to release your monies that are in people's hands. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up. By the authority, close your eyes, of Jesus, I speak the word of God to those deaths. I melt the demon that are holding those deaths. I loosen the rope that tie those monies. I command you, receive your monies now. Lose your monies now. 
Wave your hand, go back to your seat. It is done. It is done. Believe God. Believe God. All of you on this line. This line. Yes. Lift your hands up to the back. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Lift your hand high up. High up. Let your hand be the highest. Close your eyes. Don't pray. Don't pray. Don't pray. At the count of three, there are seven of you on this line that the Lord is loosening your prophecies. There are prophecies concerning you which the enemy has held for years. At the count of three, seven of you, those prophecies are released now. One, two, the power of God. Ooh. Help them, help them, help them. The power of God. Ooh. Seven of you, receive, 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 receive. I lose you, I lose you from the bondage of your enemy. Those prophecies, those promises, those purposes have been released now. Those of you, lift your hands up. Those of you here, yes, the next line, lift your hands up. When I say up, really up, close your eyes. There are ten of you. Something you have been praying for, for many years. It's about to come in the month of August. It's about to come in the month of August. Lift your hands up if you are there. I hear the Lord say 10 of them. Right now, at the count of three, those 10 people, mighty Holy Spirit, identify them, identify them, identify them, identify them, identify them. The power of God. Ooh. Help them, help them to lie down. Release yourself, release yourself. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Ten of you, right now, from the front to the back, let the anointing locate you, locate you, locate you. Receive now. Let them lie down, let them lie down. Close your eyes. Don't pray, don't pray, don't pray. Your hands are up. Breathe in, breathe in. All of you on that line. Breathe out. Yes, the Lord is still looking for three of them. There are about three of you still there, still there. Prophecies have been tied. I lose. I lose. I lose. Release yourself. I'm talking about you. You are the owner of this anointing. This anointing is for you. No power can stop this anointing. Let it come on you. The power of God. Ooh. Those of you on this line, from the pastor's line to this line and upstairs, lift your hand up. All of you upstairs and the whole of this line. Lift it up very high. Be on, be on trumpet. Not keyboard. I don't need a keyboard. I don't need, I don't need a guitar. I need a keyboard. On the trumpet. Put on trumpet. Give me prophetic. Lift up the spirit of the man of God. Not, not guitar. You know what to do. Give me some trumpet. Give me some prophetic backup. Doesn't have to be any song. As your hands are up. At the count of three. There are seven of you under this unction that you have been praying and crying Lord take me to another dimension seven of you it will not reach three as I'm counting from one to three it will not reach three when the anointing will come like electricity from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet God is about to break yokes 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 at the count of three this is yours this is yours one Two, the power of God. Ooh. Help them, help them. The power of God. Ooh. The power of God. Ooh. Help them upstairs. Help them upstairs. Yes, help them to lie down. Let them lie down. Now everybody lift your hands up. This is time for miracle and deliverance. Everybody, your hands are up. Ask God for three basic things that has eluded your life. Beg God for three specific things that you used to know that this restoration conference was for you. Maritally, spiritually, academically, professionally, whatever. Ask the Lord now. Ask the Lord now. Ask the Lord now. The 
is somebody here you dislocated I don't know if you fell down one of your shoulder God is correcting that shoulder God is correcting that shoulder God is there's somebody else something used to move on your body you have never seen it it looked like insect is crawling on your body and sometimes you try to hold it there's nothing physically you know it is spiritual it's moving in your body this is the end of that spiritual insect the fire of God shall burn that insect lift your hand begin to worship God there's anointing for deliverance in the house come on worship God worship God worship God worship God one of you here your car has been under heavy attack always in and out of worship breaking down on the road God is about to give you a brand new car God is about to give you a brand new car I hear the name Eta 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 God says he has removed that evil mark on your forehead every demonic mark on your forehead has been removed right now everybody lay your hands on your head lay your hands on your head lift your voice and say oh lord my god take me out of this place to where i should be take me out of this condition to where i should be now lift your hands and pray for one minute god is about to answer you by fire lift your hands and pray for one minute oh lord my god take me out of this suffering take me out of this poverty lift me lift me take me to another dimension next time we shall see you you shall not be in that same place the god who lifted Batibus, the god who lifted mephibosheth is still alive hear the name Udwak 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 hindrances are broken in that life I see a wall of Jericho falling down before you falling down before you begin to worship God begin to worship God they said dislocated west as I'm praying the west is adjusted begin to check yourself do what you could not do under this unction, that waist has been located back. That dislocated waist, that absolute pain. And if you came here, you were sick. Check yourself. Check yourself. If God has healed your body while the prayer and the word was going on, wave your hand. Wave your hand. If you know that you got healed, check yourself. Begin to do what you could not do. Begin to check yourself. Do what you could not do. If you know that God has healed you tonight, come forward run to the place i want to confirm it i want to pray for you run to the altar you know that god heal you run don't be ashamed jesus said who touched me jesus said who touched me jesus is interested in who touched him he's not the man of god that is interested he wants to know who he has touched if tonight you got healed you came here and you got healed you can check yourself the problem is over the sickness has disappeared somebody clap for Jesus when my voice goes up your keyboard goes down my voice goes down your keyboard goes up that is the arrangement keep clapping for Jesus as they come God heal you God has healed you what happened to you tonight where are my ushers we have a, we have a deal yeah, you have an arrangement wherever you are my but once you see a man, one man is behind. But once you see a woman, one woman. But once I go to the person, you already from my body language, you know that uh, he may pray for the person. Do you understand what happened? I had an accident, so my pain was on my back. But now I'm not feeling. You saw the pain is gone. They are not. They are not happy about miracles in this church. What is going on? Somebody celebrate that pain will never come back. What happened to you? I, Speak loud. They want to hear you. I can't hear you. 
I came here with a leg pain, but after the prayer, the pain disappeared. Do what you could not do. I cannot. Somebody celebrate this hill. It's gone forever. There's a camera. Tell us what happened. My head was aching. Uh, only me hearing you. Hearing you. Are you married? Yes. You are married. Where's your husband? I'm sure you have never found trouble in the house. Your voice is very low. Where is your husband? This one. She doesn't find trouble. You won't talk. You won't talk. My head Tell was aching me. And so what happened? I'm okay now. Only me here. You speak loud. So your head is now sound. Headache is gone forever. Let your husband come. What happened to you? When I come here, I came here with the pretty serious sick, but now God hold you. You are strong now. You were sick. How long were you sick? Two weeks? Three weeks? Since last week. But right now you can jump. People are not excited. Come on, be excited. In the name of Jesus. Loose! What happened to you? I came here with serious headache and I couldn't turn my neck properly. You couldn't turn properly. Now you can turn. Let them see. Please give the camera a chance. Take it. Take it. What happened to you? I came here with pains in my leg and shoulder. But now I'm not hearing it. Check yourself. Check. You couldn't do that before. But now you can do it. Somebody clap for Jesus. Next person. What happened to you tonight? My head has been aching for two days and now for two days and now you're fine. Jesus' name. Your healing is permanent. What happened? Truly, I was there with heavy heart during the ministration. While you were praying, God delivered me. You feel excited now. Everyone that came with a burden and heaviness of heart, Jesus has taken them away. Bless. Next. What happened to you? Located my waist, even when I came, I could not sit down properly. But right now, you saw check. Somebody clap for Jesus. God has taken away the pain forever in Jesus' name. What happened to you? I had a terrible waist pain even before I came here. While I was standing there, the pain was so much. Just before you said, So God is healing someone of waist pain, I felt I was relieved before then, and I. And you can do what you couldn't do. Jesus, we give you praise. We give you praise. Hallelujah. I was having a serious waist pain. And I've been having it for some time, but I cannot feel it now again. But right now, the pain is gone. Hallelujah. Somebody be excited about this healing. Be excited. Be excited. What happened to you? I was sick all over. Severe headache. But before the ministration, I am whole. You are healed and you are made whole in Jesus' mighty name. And you, what happened? For more than three months, I have pains on my shoulder. As the prayer was going on, I felt heat as if they were rubbing essential balm. I'm here to say, God, thank you. How many of you know that that is the anointing of the Holy Ghost? The balm of Gilead. Somebody be excited tonight. We serve a living God. Loose. Loser. 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 Come out. Go. Go out of her. Pack your loads and go. Loser. Loser. Watch behind. Watch, watch, watch. Usher, surround, surround, surround. Don't go too close. Just surround. Loose. 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 Out. Don't you have clothes? Ushers, you must have. I will. I will. Come out! Come out! Losing down. Losing down. Come out! Be thou made whole. Out! Jesus has set you free. Your life shall begin to move forward from today. I don't like your kind of amen that you are giving to me. Severe knee pains while I was here. Knee pains, yes, sir. Where that I happen? couldn't dance upstairs. That I couldn't dance while I was backing up. But now I. Now you are sound. In the name of Jesus, you are made whole. What happened to you? For a month now, I have serious uh, dislocation on my shoulder. But right now, I'm not hearing. Amen. Praise God. You are free. And God has even given you a miracle. A miracle. 
loose in the name of Jesus. What happened, sir? Where's pen? I'm uh, seriously gone. I'm not. Scott, did you check it, sir? Did you check it? Press God, press God, press God, press God, press God. Hallelujah. Receive the anointing. There's a healing anointing on you. What happened to you? Praise the Lord. I've been feeling feverish for over two weeks now. I've taken immune boosters. That's how I've been keeping myself, but I didn't feel that way while you were strong. You are strong. You are healed. How many of you know that when you are healed, you know it? Lift your hands up. Receive this power. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, let's celebrate Jesus. you, you better believe it from where you used to be to where you are supposed to be there is an anointing that has carried a Mephibosheth here, that anointing has taken a Mephibosheth from Lodeba to the center of the city, it has taken the donkey from, Jeru from the village of Bethphage to the city of Jerusalem Lift your hand up and begin to thank God. Lift your hand up, begin to thank God. Give Him praise. Give Him glory. Give Him honor. Give Him adoration. Stretch your two hands towards me, everybody. Ah, your two hands, like you want to collect something. Sir, permit me to pray for 120 people. The Lord showed them to me. The Lord said, I want to take you from one place where you are now to a higher dimension. Tomorrow, you come with a seed of 100,000 or 50,000 or minimum 20,000. Come. Those 120 people come. Don't worry about the crowd. They may not come. You come. I'm going to challenge you to bring that seed tomorrow and so or by Sunday morning. Come. I give you up till Sunday morning. You can approach your eating. You can write a check if you don't have cash. I need 120 people who say, Father, I need grace to lift me where I am to where I'm supposed to be. Can you clap for them as they are coming? You can give a hundred thousand. You can give. I give you three days. I give you three days. Three days to bring it. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Amen. You have Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You can give 100,000 or 50,000 or 20,000 or 10,000. Some of you, I don't want to call your name. You are, you are, see, the way you are standing and you are not coming out, I see also, the Bible says, goodness and mercy shall do what? Follow you. It is you that take the step and goodness follow. You don't wait for goodness in order to move. You move and goodness and mercy follow. At least 10,000 in three days. Come. The money is not for me. The money is for your church. The money is for the program. The money is for the work of the kingdom. Come. Only in matters of finance, the Bible says, prove me now. Prove me. Only in matters of finance. If you know the grace of God upon this conference, you will not be begged to come out for 10,000 or 100,000. Please come. Can you touch the altar, any part of the altar, anywhere? You don't need to kneel down, but if you want to kneel, you can. Touch anywhere and pray. Anyway, say something, please. You are not covenanting to me. You are not giving to me. God is a faithful God. He's a rewarder of them. Who deadly gently seek him. You, you can, yes, you can push those things out. You can touch. Please come. Come and honor God with your finances. God can make a way for you where there was no way. Some of you, I know that you came here not seeing tomorrow. But the man of God says, So. Do you know what determines the next season 
is not rain, it's not sun, it's seed. All the sun and the rain without sowing is a waste to the season. It is a seed of the farmers that determine the next season. Bible says, he that refused to plant in the time of planting, I don't want to tell you what it says, but it's the Bible I will tell you, shall beg in the day of harvest. Father, I thank you for everyone touching this altar to pray and sowing seed of faith, believing that you take them from where they are to where they're supposed to be. Answer them by fire in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go back to your seat. Bring your money today, tomorrow. You have up to Monday morning. Thank you. You can give 5,000 and 2,000 today, tomorrow, or in three days. Come and also touch the altar. There are people that will never come. I'm very conscious of that. Lower, lower the keyboard. Lower the keyboard. 5,000, 2,000, 1,000. That's the last we can go tonight. And those of you that came to escort us, you can sit and watch us pray. You came as our driver. Remember, we came here with our drivers and our PAs. Maybe you were really the person's driver. God forbid. You came for your own miracle. This is still the altar. Touch it. Spread all over there. You can enter inside if you want. Pray. If you cannot touch us, touch the floor. Touch the floor there. Where the man of God stayed to pray. Pray. Please say something. Say something. Tell God, I did not come here to escort anybody. I came here to covenant with you. Pray. Please pray. Ask God for three things. You are highly lifted up. Jesus, Jesus, 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 sing again. As we are singing, ask God for something. Good God. Sing it one more time. You are highly lifted up, Jesus, Jesus. You are highly lifted up, Jesus. Father, there's nobody that asks you for bread and you give him stones. There's nobody that asks you for fish and you give him snack let these seeds rise and fight battles for these ones let this seed become keys that open their destiny after their amen take them from where they are to where they are supposed to be to where they are supposed to be i cover you with the blood of jesus you will see the glory of god in jesus mighty name rise on your feet if you have your own drop it now if you don't have it, bring it tomorrow or next tomorrow. You are highly lifted up. Jesus, Jesus, you are highly lifted up. Jesus, you are highly lifted up. Jesus, you are highly lifted up. Jesus, sing it one more time. Everybody, raise your voice and sing it. Listen to me.
me? Whatever amount you have now, 500, 200, whatever amount, come. Choir, you're going to sing that song again? Come and drop it on the altar and tell God what you want. This God answers prayer. As we are singing that song, get an amount. And if you have already given or you came for a place, take something and come on behalf of your children in school, your husband in the house, or your friends somewhere. Open your mouth and sing it. surrender your life. You are here tonight You say man of God I'm struggling in sin. I live in my past. I'm suffering from the guilt of yesteryears. I want the blood of Jesus to wash me. You can just raise your hand up. I want to pray for those people that want to give their life to Jesus. If you are there raise your hand up. You want to be born again I'll pray for you. As you raise your hand up if you are serious come to the front come to the front. Somebody clap for them as they come. Come to the front don't be ashamed Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my Father which is in heaven. Anybody tonight, you want to come forward and declare, openly confess that he is your Lord and Savior. Anybody, come forward. Don't be ashamed. Come right here. Nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. He said, if you shall confess me before men, 
I will confess you before my father which is in heaven you want to come right here and surrender your life if there's nobody let's give Jesus a clap offering let's give Jesus a clap offering wave your hand and begin to thank God father we return to you the glory we return to you the honor say something to God return the honor return the praise return the glory